1. The look through effect. This is the clip that we see through the text. Search for text and drag it to the timeline. Trim it to the same length as your clip. And enter the word that you want to use. Choose an appropriate font. You can best choose one that has enough thickness. Make sure to scale up the font using the title's size. Don't scale it up using the clip's zoom as this will affect the quality. So always use this tool to scale text. Place the text below the video clip. While standing on the text, change its composite mode to alpha. While standing on the clip, make sure its composite mode is on foreground. Now we can see the video clip through the text. You can optionally place another clip underneath this text. I'm gonna do that with this clip. Make sure that the new clip's composite mode is on normal. Drag the text and current video clip one layer upwards to position the new clip underneath. Now we have this effect. It doesn't look very appealing. That brings us by text effect to outlines. I'm going to continue from where we ended. You can do it yourself on a new clip as well. Drag the text and the masked clip one layer higher. Then copy the text and place it underneath. Make sure that the composite mode is on normal. Now add a stroke to the lowest text layer. As you can see, we created the outlines. We can even add another thing to it. This brings us by tree shadow. To add shadow, you only need to adjust the offset. Like this, you can easily determine the position of the shadow. If you want to soften it, you can add some blur. And here you go, the shadow. I redesigned it a little bit to have this result. 4. The cloudy effect. Drag a text clip to the timeline. Enter your text and choose an appropriate font. Remember, don't scale it with a zoom, but increase the text size. Let's position it before adding the stormy effect. Go to Generators and choose the Noise Gradient. Drag it on top of the text clip and make sure that it has the same duration as your text. Change the composite mode of the text to Alpha and change the composite mode of the noise gradient to foreground. This way, the noise will only be visible inside the text. As you can see, the noise automatically comes with some animations. There are different tools to manipulate this animation. Using these, you can give it your own design. It doesn't matter what you do here, just give it your own flavor. This effect is already a little bit heavier, which I like. Let's give it some outlines as well. Drag the noise gradient and the text layer one layer upwards. Copy the text to the empty layer and change its composite mode to normal. Now you can give the text some outlines. This looks better with the background. If you'd like to add shadow to it as well, you can modify the offset values. If your background clip is black, like in my case, you can change the shadow color. Add some blur to make the shadow more realistic. This is our result now. 
I'm going to keyframe the shadow from 0 to 18 as well. If the shadow is added, add a keyframe to the end by clicking on the diamond icon. Then go to the start with your time indicator and change the offset value to 0. This way the shadow will come in during the clip. Let's see if it works. Yes, the shadow is animated. 5. Flicker Edition Drag a text layer to the timeline and type in the text you'd like. Choose your font. Scale it using the size and pick your font color. Right click on the text layer and make a new compound clip. You can choose the name. Search for the flicker edition in the open effects and drag it onto your compound clip. Your text automatically flickers right now. You can test out all functions of the effect in the effects panel. Adjust the values of the effects that you like to create your own design. If you want to add changes to your text itself, you can open the compound clip by right mouse click Open in Timeline. Here you can modify your color and things like that. Let's give it some shadow. You'll be able to see it once again in our final timeline. The background shadow has been added. A little bit darker. Now it matches the energy with the video more. 6. Glow. Drag text to the timeline. Enter the words that you'd like and choose your font. Scale it up using the size tool and position the text to your favor. I'm going to keep the text color white. I'm going to place a colored glow behind the text. Search for glow in the open effects. Before dropping it onto your text, make sure to make a compound clip of your text first. Now you can drag the open effects glow to your clip. As you can see, the text has some glow, but the video disappeared. Make sure to change the composite mode of the compound clip to screen. There are a lot of functions in this effect that you can modify to your favor. I'm going to change the color of the glow to yellow. Now I'm going to play with the sliders to find a good balance between them. I'm going to animate the spread using keyframes. By clicking on the diamond, you will create a keyframe on the place where the red timeline indicator is located. From there, you can create new keyframes by adjusting the value. I'm animating the spread of the glow effect very gentle right now.
this is the result. If you pay attention, you can see the spread getting bigger and smaller. You can take your time to see what the other sliders do as well. Eventually, after playing around a little bit, this is my final result. 7. Presets DaVinci Resolve has a lot of built-in presets for your text. You can find these in the title section. Let's test some out. I'm going to start with the digital glitch effect. You can enter your text inside these boxes. These work like a preset. Once done, position your text. It's time to see what the glitch preset does. Ok, that's cool. Let's test out another one. Let's take the flip over. The principle works the same. Let's type in Gantt and change the color. Position it. This effect makes the letters flip one by one. Let's test out the last one. The jitter sounds cool. Enter your text and you immediately see a cool effect. Let's change the font as well. And let's modify the color too. Let's adjust the text position and the text size. Oh, it doesn't look cool yet. Let's see what we need to do. The letters come one by one. Let's make the color white. It's kind of invisible now. Oh, we probably need to change the jitter color. Yes, this is what we needed to do. These outlines are the jetting part as well. Yeah, this effect is very cool. Let's just change the front color as well to match it with the area. Let's pick a screen color. And now this text is representing the whole history that the city has undergone. Let's fine tune a little. I think it's okay. This is the final result.